Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Cars and Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to import hot fixes to SCCM or import patches to SCCM. So now let's get started. Here are the two patches that I want to deploy. So if I go into SCCM and search for this patch under software library and then all software updates. Click OK here and search. As you can see, the patches not show up or not available. And if I want to search for the second one, This one is also not available in software updates. So what you can do is you can import the, these patches into all software updates. By doing that, first you need to open up the WSS. You want to go into the Windows and then Civil Manager. Click on WSS, right click, and then go to Windows Server Update Services. Click on the, the server and then click on import updates. If, if your browser is Chrome, it might not work. You want to make sure your default browser is IE. And you want to make sure you see this little icon here, view basket. If you don't see this, that means the plugin is not installed on the browser and you will not be able to import the hotfixes. So now let's search for this hotfix. I'm going to enter the KB here and then hit search. And here are the patches available for this KB. I'm going to import the x64 and windows server 2012 click on add each individually or you can add all i'm going to add all so all three shows up in my basket here as you can see and i'm going to add another kb which is this one type in here and then search Here's all the KBs. I'm going to click on Add All. As you can see, the number items in the basket now is seven. Once you verify that everything is correct or these other patches that you want to import, you can click on Import on the top right corner here. Click on Import. Agree to the policy you have to enter your email address here I'm going to put in Adam at 03652.com continue and as you can see it is in progress it's importing the the patches so when you import the patches, you want to make sure you are importing from your WSUS server. As you can see here, I have WSUS installed, which is my also my software update point. So the first one is done. All right, look like it's all green. I'm going to close this window. So the next step you want to do is you want to go back into Configuration Manager. And under Software Updates, All Software Updates, you want to right click. And then you go to, you run the Sync Software Updates. Yes. 
you can monitor the sync over here under monitoring and then software update point synchronizations. It's going to take a few minutes. As you can see, it's syncing. Once this turned green, you can go back in and check to see if the patch has been imported. I'm going to pause the recording and welcome back. All right, as you can see, it is now green. Let's go back to software library and then go to all software updates. I'm going to search for the KB. Okay, this KB, it did not show up. Let's go back here. Maybe it is already superseded. If hotfixes are superseded, you won't be able to import to WSS or, or the um, configuration manager. Let's look at the log file. I'm going to look into WSync WSync log Let's search for this KB I could not find that in here. I found this one. Let's see. So as you can see, this KB2522014 has been superseded. This is one, one of the reasons um, it did not import to WSS or Configuration Manager. I'm not sure why the second one did not, I could not find it. So that's the troubleshooting stuff you can do if it's not get imported. You can look in the WSS MGR.log and search for the KB. So that's it. That's how you import hotfixes or patches to WSS or to Configuration Manager. Thank you for watching and have a great day.